Hi, so in this video I wanted to show how to easily and accurately measure circadian rhythm and especially sleep wake activity cycles. So we have developed a product called Phibion Circadian and it consists of a tiny 7 gram sensor. So this sensor can actually with, with the charts that it has, it can measure 22 weeks of data. And this one is transmitting the data via Bluetooth to a smartphone. And then the smartphone is sending it to the cloud and the cloud band can be checked with the smartphone tablet or a computer. And then basically this device we have this kind of patch attachment, individually packed attachment. So basically the device goes into the patch, and then it's attached on the middle of the, of the back. So basically the device is against the skin on the back with the, with the patch. With that way, it can measure different postures, which are important. Let me show you from our cloud. So I'm here now in Phibion Circadian Cloud. In this, this project, I have just one sensor, which has been measuring two days. Uh, and I can click the device. Then we see the data of this device. And I can go, for example, the measurement has been started on 21st we can see that there's no data here until 9 uh, in the morning and then we have different categories of lying calm so lying down calmly sitting standing calm so with this device we can show whether a person is lying down or sitting when it's on the back we can see when the person is walking we can differentiate lying calm and lying restless so when there's some amount of movement then we can have also sitting standing restless so we can get kind of restless incidences incidences of of the analysis sometimes may, might be data that doesn't fit any of these and then it would be shown on gray color then i can also go to for example the next day and i can see see the data how has it been the person has been sleeping and waking up a little bit after six the sleep has been pretty calm pretty restful not much restlessness you can see some movement during the night with the yellow we see during the daily activity walking so there's actually quite a bit of walking in this person's measurement the sitting and standing quite a bit and then again starting in the evening probably being on the sofa and then being a little bit more more active there in this point we have two and a half days of measurement data and then we can see clearly that the person have woken up at that time and if we want to zoom into the data we can just click certain part and we can see more accurately that person has woken up 746 in this case and anywhere you want to click on the dates we can we can zoom in into data and go for example one hour forward and see what has been happening happening at any point of time yeah so i can look the data if i want to go and export the data i can export it in csv which can be opened for example in in excel if i want to just get the pdf report i can put here the dates i want so that was when it was being measured and then it will download the pdf report which i have have here I can see the report each day and I can see how much there was each activity. So I can see the sleeping time, eight hours, 12 minutes, seven hours, 15. And this was not the full measurement day. So the sleeping time 
doesn't make sense since they're lay, laying down calm, laying down restless. So quite a bit, good amount of laying down down there. So you can see the different different activities and also seeing how much there is active time and and walking. So for example, we can see here four and a half hours of walking, six hour forty four minutes and five hour thirty nine minutes of walking. So it gives a good overview of what person has been doing throughout the day, how much the person has been sleeping, how much they have been laying down. So that's that's the export of the PDF report. PDF report and if we want to look also the device is measuring three axis acceleration. If you want to look the data more closely you have X, Y and Z axis there. You can also zoom in to certain part of the data. You can zoom in and for example see each step there when the person has been walking and if you want to export this you can export the raw data as a CSV file or raw data so a little bit different file formats and for example the raw data you can get in a binary format which is about one tenth of the size of the CSV file these tend to be usually quite a big big data file so exporting it in a binary file is a good way to save some some space yeah can be exported from here here in different formats and what else we can check from here the device also has a temperature sensor i don't know in this this case there's not much information maybe the person has been going outside there as it's been no it's yeah it's going close to minus degrees when person has been outside in the evening it can give some indication of the where the person is context but usually not important information and we can also check that what is the battery stages of the device when it starts to drop we can we can see it there so very easy way of measuring so basically the patient the participant is just wearing the tiny device on the back and there's no need to charge the device it can actually measure 22 weeks of data with this initial charge and it will be just transmitting the data through smartphone and if it happens that there's no smartphone close by which has the Fibian circadian app this device can anyway store data for two weeks so it doesn't need to be all the time connected with the smartphone if we look what what kind of instances you can use this so i'm now in the Fibian circadian website where you can find a little bit more information of the system but it it provides an objective and complete picture of citizens patients circadian rhythm it reveals sleep disorders it reveals if the person is night walking if there is restlessness if there is hyperactivity or quite common inactivity with the cloud portal the professionals can easily share the results with colleagues doctors psychologists and also relatives if you if you are changing or doing changes to care measures with this system you can easily measure and document the changes so you can use the system to measure what are the problems maybe there's for example restlessness maybe you need to change the medication a bit or if the person is not sleeping well so you can change different things in the care and then measure whether we achieved the wanted changes and hopefully this will result for better well-being of the citizen or patient or whoever the system is being 
being used with. So if you want to have more information, you can check the Fibion Circadian page, which is in address circadian.fibion.com. You can sign up for our newsletter where we will be posting different uh, different things about circadian measurements and circadian rhythm research. So check out the website, sign up for the newsletter. And if you want to have more information, if you want to have a quote of the system, you can, you can do it with this form and you can find also some more information. So hopefully you liked and got some value of this introduction. I'm glad to reply any questions you might have. You can email me personally at Olli, O-L-L-I, at Fibion.com and we can arrange a, a video call to chat about if this system could fit for you. We are also very interested of, of collaboration between different institutes and researchers. So just let me know if you're interested in that and let's, let's have a video call to see if we can, can collaborate. Yeah, thanks for watching and have a great day.